Did you know that you can now use Android phones to take 3D photos in Facebook? Well, you probably don't care, but many of you probably are interested in it. Today I spent half a day trying to figure it out. I tested it out with the Galaxy Note 8, Galaxy Note 9, S10 Plus. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I'm gonna show you some of the workarounds and some of the things that I had to do to make it work. Let's go check it out. Welcome back to your channel, my name is Mario. If you're new, consider subscribing. We're always making videos about the Galaxy Note phones. If you have an Android phone, you gotta make sure that your phone is compatible. As of right now, most of the phones that have dual lens will be compatible, meaning they can take portrait mode, like focus pictures. Basically, when you get to take your face and the background gets blurry because you got those two lenses. As of right now, it will be supported. Again, I tested it out with the Note 8, Note 9, S10 Plus, and it worked just fine for me. If you have an iPhone, it's probably already working. It's been working for a while, but again, that phone has to have the dual lens. The first thing that you gotta do is you have to go to Facebook and you gotta go search for Facebook, 360. You're gonna find a page, you're gonna open it, and you're gonna make sure you hit the like. Now, you just gotta like the page. Once you like it, you give it give it about an hour. Most people are saying an hour, hour or two, or two hours. And then you're gonna be able to see the option on your application. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to install updates. You don't have to wait for someone to send you an update so you're gonna be able to see it. So for right now, you do that, you're just gonna go hang around, come back in about an hour, and then you check it out. Step number two you gotta do is you gotta make sure you have some portrait photos stored in your phone. It can be a portrait photo or from Samsung perspective, it's a live photo picture, meaning the pictures you take where you get to blur the background, if you have it in your phone, then you'll be good to go. Once you do those two things, then you open your Facebook app, you go back to your main landing page in Facebook. And then you go, like if you're just gonna post a picture, you click on it. From there, you're gonna see you got, on the bottom, you got 3D photo. Now, if you do not see this as of right now, just wait at the end, I'm gonna show you something I had to do. But assuming you already waited about an hour and it's there, you just click on 3D photo. What Facebook is gonna do is gonna go through all your pictures, it's gonna identify all the pictures that are compatible with this feature, meaning you took that portrait mode picture or you took that live focus picture. Once you find a picture that you wanna test that, you click on it, give it a few seconds, Facebook is gonna go through the software and it's gonna create that 3D effect on the picture. So again, what it does is it gets both of the pictures, the one with the foreground and the background, and then it converts it into 3D. Once it's ready to go, then you'll see that it's now a 3D picture. Now, keep in mind that not every picture will look great. You gotta play with it. I'm still trying to figure out what's, what are the best ways to take pictures that will work better with this mode. But I just wanted to show you, this is how you get it to work. Some pictures will be better than others. Just keep that in mind. But once you have your picture ready to go, then you just post it, tag it, and you're good to go. Now, if you're still not able to see this feature in your app, give it more time. If you waited at least a day, then something I had to do with the Galaxy Note 9 and, Note and the S10 Plus, I had to go clear the cache and clear the data for Facebook. So what I did is I went to the main page where the actual application is for Facebook. I press hold on it. I click on app info. This is gonna open up the settings for the app. And then I went to storage. Under storage, you're gonna get the two, you have the two options to clear the, the cache or clear the data. Remember, if you really are not sure about what you're gonna lose from doing this, don't do it. Mm -hmm. I personally usually don't care what cache it gets stored in the app. The data I always remember my usernames and passwords, so I'm not worried about it. So I went ahead and I cleared the cache and I cleared the data. So after doing this, I was able to see the feature display on the app right away. So I guess in the past I had blocked Facebook from accessing my, my pictures, photos, or maybe I'm sure there was some setting that I had blocked, which was not allowing this setting to display for me. But after doing that, again, it's gonna prompt you for all the settings. You gotta give access to, to Facebook, to pretty much everything, all the access on your phone, camera, microphone, all of that. I went back to trying to post a picture and then there it was. You could see it's their 3D photo. Now again, it's gonna ask me to give it access, but that's all I had to do. This was just an update. Hope it helped some of you guys. A lot of you all probably don't care, don't even use Facebook, but let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Any questions you have, make sure you drop them. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you on the next one.